Okay, here we go. Hi guys, thank you so much for having me on tonight. I'm Dr. Linda Kramer and tonight I'm talking with the amazing Anna True, who is a spirit artist in the UK. So Anna, thank you so much for being my guest tonight. Um, let's start at the beginning. Um, what is it that you actually do? What is it that you do? Uh I am a visionary spirit artist and I draw people's spirit guides. Oh, I get so excited, you know, because there's not too many of us on the world. And when I say that, it's because there's 8 million people out there. And, you know, I see spirit guides too, so I firmly believe what you're talking about. So for anyone watching today, I've actually asked Anna to draw me some of her artwork and I'm going to show those to you right now which because I just love these, okay? So I'm just going to share my screen so you guys can see what we're talking about here. So this is one of the artworks that Anna did for me and apparently I have an elder English gentleman, I have a fishmonger, and I also have a llama, okay? So that's one of the pictures that Anna drew for me. Then she sent me some other sample ones that she has done also. So here's one that she's done for somebody else. Here's a look at the detail in her drawings. Come on, guys, she's a damn good artist. And then we've got this one as well. So I am absolutely gobsmacked with how good you do your drawings, Anna. So well, let's you. start. Oh, you're amazing, sweetheart, and I'm so honoured to have you on here today. <laughs> so let's start. I'm, I'm pleased to be here. Thank you. <laughs> it's all right, darling girl. You're fine. So let's start at the beginning, okay? Let's go back in time. When did you start knowing that you had spiritual gifts? Well... It's kind of in retrospect because I didn't realise that the I just thought these things were normal and it isn't until you get older and you look back, you can go, oh, okay. But I always felt like I was quite intuitive as, as a kid and, and the thing is that I was obsessed with art and stationery. I had copious amounts of stationery and I was always drawing and painting. It's what I did all the time. And again, in retrospect, it's weird because I could I could be drawing anything. I could be into landscapes or abstract or just drawing objects, but I was always drawing faces. And I couldn't draw bodies, I couldn't draw hands. It was always faces. And and I remember I remember one instance where I just grabbed a, a pen and pad I could have only been about seven or eight and I created what was a portrait of an elderly gentleman and it was um, years beyond what I should have been able to do for my age and I could curse that I don't have that portrait anymore because I look back and I actually firmly believe that was my deceased grandfather and I was so proud of this picture. I actually took it to my art teacher and everybody was having a look. And I don't think they really believed I did it. I think they just humoured me, but I did. And then fast forward to the early 90s, that was when like the occult started to become quite popular. So you had all the ghost hunting shows, you had people dabbling in tarot and... Um, all those sorts of things, you know, UFOs, we had the Roswell crash. So I kind of like just threw myself into all this spiritual stuff from, from quite a young age. And in my early teens, I then started to notice that my dreams, and I get off the chart dreams, my dreams are very important to me, but they were giving me premonitions. So I was actually predicting stuff. And I mean, one of the biggies just, give you a taste is that I dreamt that um my boss because I just started studying and had a part-time job I dreamt that he was going to get cancer and die now that's not obviously what anybody wants to dream of and I didn't really think much of it 
but then he suddenly did get cancer and it was really quick he died within a few months so it was like you know things things like that were occurring and then basically I finished my studies I got married I had two kids and my spirituality just spirituality just went to the wayside you know I'm a busy kind of tired mum and then it was probably when my children were about three or four years old my spirituality started to come back and my dreams went off the chart and I actually started keeping a blog because they had messages in them I was pre predicting so many things you know like natural disasters and and whatnot and it was around this time that I started hearing voices and I just thought that you know I didn't think too much of it to begin with but it got stronger and stronger and it was every time I was in a very relaxed state and I started writing them down so I've underneath my pillow because I don't want to wake my husband up I would have like a little notebook and I would have a pen with a torch on it and I would write down everything so that I don't want to forget it I want to analyze it in the morning and then a few months later I googled it because I, I was thinking why is this happening to me and I was really deflated because it just said it was a common phenomena that everybody hears stuff when they go to sleep. And I was, yeah, I was really deflated. I was like, oh, right, okay. But it, it just kept getting stronger and stronger. And these came in different accents, um, you know, different ages, people from all over the world. These were long, coherent sentences. You know, these weren't just like hearing your name called or whatever. And if I asked a question, I could get a response back. So I thought, well, there's way more to this. And I continued to write everything down. Then, not long after that, the faces started. So I would be just lying in bed. I could have my eyes shut or my eyes open, and I would see these faces. And I could zoom in on their features, and it was absolutely fascinating. I, you know, sometimes I couldn't wait to go to bed to see the faces. Now, there was one face in particular that stood out to me. It was like an angelic little boy. And for some reason, I had this massive pull to draw him. I could not wait to get up in the morning, pack my kids off to school. Um, I found some scratch chill pencils and I drew him. And, and it was around this time that I had started having clairvoyant readings. And they really opened me up. And she kept saying in my readings, this lady, you're going to be, you're going to, I don't know what it is. She said, you're going to be working from home and you're going to be doing something creative. And I just can't put my finger on it. And it just kept coming up. And I just couldn't see it. I was just like, oh, I don't think so. Nah. And, um, and then this is when things just went absolutely crazy. And all I can say is that, you know, I was scared. I thought I had a poltergeist in my house everything was breaking and I mean to the point where even if I left the house and I would go shopping the tills would break and they'd say oh it's never done that before I'd literally walk then up the road to another shop tills are broke so I was like I was like affecting everything and it became physical to the point where like um we were having house leaks so the house got flooded our phone line wouldn't work for several weeks. Our heating broke for three months. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. And I was especially affecting electricals. They were just kaput. So like I said, I was, I was scared and I didn't know what was happening to me. So the clairvoyant who I was getting readings from, I said to her, can you help me? I don't, I, I don't know what to do. And then I remember she came into the house and she was like, oh my God. God, the energy in here is insane. Like, we need to sort this out. And we quickly realized it was me creating it because I didn't realize that I was like a moth to flame, that I was bringing in all sorts, the good and the bad. And I had no idea about protection. I was a complete newbie and I had to quickly learn. Um, and she said, and it, she said to me, 
you're meant I get it now you're meant to be drawing spirit guides and I sh I showed her the pictures like that I've been drawing and it all just slotted into place now the final bit of this is I didn't know what to do or go with it I wasn't actually interested in in doing faces drawing faces I wanted to concentrate on my clear audience and this clairvoyant lady um, she invited me to an event it's a three-day mind body spirit event and I said yeah I'd love to go so I went with her and when I got there that I, I I walked around and it's this huge place and I saw a spirit artist and I was glued to her I was like watching her how she did it and I was just in awe and then I went somewhere else and saw another spirit uh, sorry spirit artist and I was watching watching her and then I was watching him there were loads of them and the only way I can describe it is my stomach went nuts like the pull it was this overwhelming pull it was like a switch went on my back I, I've got to do this and I and I don't mind admitting I was actually jealous I was like I, I want to be them I want to I've just got to do it and so I then went straight to it it was practice 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 I didn't just go straight to doing spirit art you know um and then not long after that I literally woke up one morning and again it's like it's like it was like a download and my guides were saying you've got to get yourself a website Anna and I was like what and, it, I, and I could feel the pull it's like you've got to get a website you've got to get yourself out there so I said to my husband, I need a website. Now, at this point, I don't think my husband's a non-believer. And I think anything that comes out of my mouth now, he's just like, whatever, Anna. But he, so I, you know, he went with it and I got myself a website. And then a few months after that, it went live. And here we are. Oh, sweetheart. <laughs> I cannot tell you how much I am proud of you because you know, it's very similar to me. I was about six years old when I started seeing ghosts and they were talking to me and my gifts started coming in. We all have this option where we could shut it down and say, no, I don't want to do this. But like me, you said no to that and you've taken it on like a job. So I'm yeah. proud of you and I loved how you said you had a call, like a like you had this download night where you knew what you had to do, get the website going, you know, because they're what I call callings where it's like we're receiving this message and they're seeing if, if they, it's like a test to see if we're going to do their work for them. So I am so impressed. Now, for anyone watching today, I've actually got Anna's website right here right now. So... Let me just show that to the, anyone watching today as well. So here is Anna's website. It is called annatrue.co.uk. So she's got a beautiful psychic news articles. She's got a little bio, learn more. Up the top, she's got gallery, reviews, contacts about guides. She's also got an order number there. Now, the other thing that I've got here from Anna is I have her Whoops, she's on also, she's on YouTube. So Anna is on YouTube. It's called Anna True Spirit Artist, okay? She's presently only got 26 subscribers, guys. Come along and subscribe because I'm one of those 26. So Anna's now doing videos as well about um, her spirit art and other things. So I've actually asked her to keep going with that. So there's her two links straight away. All of Anna's other links are in the description below if you do want to contact Anna. Have your own personal reading with Anna. So Anna, let me just ask you, when people do contact you to say, hey, can you tell me what my spirit guide is? Anything about my purpose? I've got no life mission at this point. Tell me what my goals are. In a nutshell, what sort of service do you provide now to people in the public? Uh, so basically, um, 
yeah, they will contact me and and I work off names. Every spirit artist has their own way of doing it, but it's purely for 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 me. Spirit already know who I'm gonna draw. It's like I'm in my drawing room now and this is literally a waiting room. They already know who the next person's gonna be, but for to help me, I like to just have something to focus on for intent. So I will take their name and then I will go away and I will then tune in when the time is right. And the way I work is I just scribble everything down, everything, it's just like crazy. And then I go straight to drawing the portrait so it's all nice and fresh. Um, and then I will do the reading and I will tell them about their guide because guides come through from the incarnations that they may have lived on the earth plane because that's they you know they no one has any true form so they have to come through with something that you can relate to yeah. and and I will tell you about that incarnation and why they're with you and any messages and it's it's amazing how much it can help people I've helped even help children who have big issues and the feedback is it's it's yeah. been amazing so it really it, it really can give you help hope guidance it you know, it's quite powerful well what I'll tell you what I found amazing Anna was your accuracy accuracy in what you said about me now that's a reason why I'm not showing people my report <laughs> okay but anyone yeah. watching today please know Anna does write a very comprehensive report about your guides okay and any other messages that do come through so basically if you do want Anna to do your spirit guide reading give you some um, information about why you're here purpose etc please take the effort to contact her I only promote those who I thoroughly believe are in doing the right good and loving work of the universe and I'm going to attest right now Anna True is one of these people. So guys, hit the buttons below in the description. Go and find her on TikTok, YouTube. She's got her website there, Facebook, Instagram, etc. And con contact Anna if you do want to know anything further. So in closing, Anna, is there anything else that you want to tell the viewers about yourself um, so to give them some comfort to come over and contact you? Uh, well, I'm also a colour therapist and that plays into my readings too because colour is incredibly important. So, you know, there's that there's that as well to throw into the mix. But, yeah, it's it, it can really, really help people. And, of course, we're all being tested right now. And, you know, we all need a bit of guidance. Oh, but, yeah, absolutely. thank you so you know, much. So, so that's why I'm just so happy to support you with what you're doing, Anna. And I want you to continue doing this because obviously all the messages I'm getting is help Anna as much as I can, you know. So I'm happy to promote you on my channel. Yeah, and I'm going to be sharing Thanks. your link around the place as well. And hopefully people will come over. Um, presently you've got 26 subscribers on YouTube. So let's see how that goes for you. Um, people can go over to your website, check you out, Okay. So, guys, again, I'm just going to say I found somebody who is a real deal and is very legitimate. She's not a false prophet. She's been doing this for a long time since she was a child. And if you do want to give her some credit, please go over and contact her if you've got any situation where she can help you. Okay? So with that said, Anna, I am so honoured to have you as a guest on my channel. Thank you so much for being here tonight. Okay? Thank you ever so much, Linda. I appreciate it. Oh, it's gorgeous, darling. So, guys, go click those buttons. Go over to her website and have a look at her. Please go to her YouTube channel and let's start getting her some people watching her videos again over there as well. So, everyone watching, thank you so much for watching. If you do want to be a guest on my show, please email me. My link is also in the description below. And if you do want to promote your own goods or services as well. So thank you all for being here. Thank you on behalf of Anna and myself. Have a great morning, good evening, good night, wherever you are. Stay in love. And most importantly, keep the faith, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Okay, bye.